In this video, I'm going to share my picks for the best iOS guitar apps available in the world today. I did a very similar video to this way back in 2017. And to give you an idea of just how much the landscape has changed when it comes to iOS guitar apps since then, none of the apps that were featured in that list are in this list. Let's do it. I'm Patrick, this is the Garage Band Guide, and these are my top five iOS guitar apps. Starting with... Stark from Swedish developers Clevgrind burst onto the scene back in 2019. Ooh, that rhymed. Clevgrind's first full-blown guitar sim, Stark separated itself from other, more established Axe-flavoured apps by offering users a stripped-down, intuitive interface and eschewing the replication of popular tones completely. Instead, offering users a more atypical sound design experience. I absolutely loved Stark when it was released. In fact, it was my app of the year back in 2019, and I still think it's fantastic now. Though I can recognise it does have a couple of flaws that hold it back from placing higher on this list. Its intuitive user interface and easy to navigate UI mean it's ideal for beginners and intermediate users alike, but that also comes with a lack of depth that means you may find the options available for shaping and tweaking your sounds a little bit limiting. Having said that, Stark doesn't just cater for guitarists, including dedicated preset banks for synths and bass as well. Despite lacking some of the punch and grit that the more metal and rock inclined among you may require, Stark's clean interface and bold, easy to use controls are something that beginners in particular will really appreciate. from Ultimate Guitar is unlike any other amp sim out there. If you want to recreate a specific guitar tone from a specific part of a specific song, open Tonebridge, search for the band and or song, select the tone for the part of the song you want, and that's it. It really is that easy, and nine times out of ten, the results are fantastic. Not only can you load up tones from your favourite tracks in seconds, Tonebridge allows you to craft your own tones with over 100 different amps, pedals, microphones and effects. You can then save your creations or share them with other users using the Tonebridge catalogue. Tonebridge is absolutely brilliant and be warned, you will lose hours of your life combing through its amazing library of guitar tones. Oh, and I almost completely forgot to say, Tonebridge is absolutely free. No, I'm not kidding. Go and download it. No excuses. So I'm not singling out a single Nembrini amp or effect as their best. Rather, I'm highlighting the quality of their guitar apps as a whole. Nembrini don't really do big multi-amp slash effects apps, instead releasing super high quality recreations of individual amplifiers. So if you are looking for the very best recreations of real life sought after amplifier sounds on iOS, Nembrini Audio are the developers to go to. Particular standouts for me are their Mesa Boogie inspired Kali Reverb, their Vox flavoured Voice DC30, 
and probably the best recreation of a PV5150 in existence, the 8180 Monster Tube. Now, these premium amp sims do come with a premium price tag, and you'd be forgiven for wondering if they're really worth it. Yeah. Yeah, they are. If you don't fancy flashing your cash, Nembrini Audio also have several really high quality free apps available too that range from delays and noise gates to full on recreations of classic pedals. I'd highly recommend grabbing these freebies at the very least as they're all fantastic and give you a real feel for the kind of quality that you'll find in Nembrini's premium apps. A couple of things before we move on to the top two. One, if you're finding this video helpful and enjoying it, then give that like button a little bit of a tickle for me. I really appreciate it. And I also want to give an honourable mention to Garage Band's built-in amp and pedal effects. There really is more depth here than you might realise at first, with 10 amps to choose from, along with 10 stomp box effects, dozens of presets built in, and more available for free from the sound library. The majority of sounds here do sound brilliant, and while GarageBand can't quite compete with the other apps on this list, when it comes to high gain or driven tones, it doesn't cost you a single penny extra to use, and it doesn't involve any complicated audio jiggery-pokery to get going. Yonax Tonestack Pro is one of the most fully featured guitar apps on iOS. Eight quid or around ten dollars will get you the basic version of Tonestack Pro, which includes ten amps, ten cabs, and thirty effects. Now that isn't too shabby, and the selection of amps and sounds you get with the basic bundle is really usable and all sound fantastic. However, it's definitely worth unlocking the full shebang via the pot of gold in-app purchase, which gives you access to the full potential of Tonestack Pro. 70 amps, 68 cabs, and over 140 effects in total. The sheer number of sonic possibilities is mind-blowing, and importantly, the sound quality is there too. Sporting faithful, but obviously unofficial, recreations of Fender, Orange, Vox, Marshall, and practically every other major amplifier and pedal manufacturer's kit, Tonestack Pro puts other more expensive yet feature-lacking iOS guitar apps to shame. Not mentioning any names though, obviously. <laughs> If you're looking for an app that will allow you to craft amazing guitar tones from scratch and also give you the tools to fine tune and tweak those tones to your liking, then you won't find better than Tonestack Pro. Alright, I'd hummed and hawed for ages about which of the two apps at the top of this list should be crowned the overall winner. Objectively, I think Tonestack Pro is the more mass markety, appealing app that works as a kind of jack of all trades. Rhino from Aurora DSP definitely isn't that, and I think personally that's why I like it a wee bit more. Aurora DSP have ported across their hugely popular amp sim Rhino to iOS, 
and it is glorious. Massive, chunky, dirty tones are the name of the game here, though Rhino is actually more than capable of doing cleaner, down-tempo stuff as well. The UI is split into seven sections that include the preamp section, which includes four preamp models, four pedal boosters, and three band tone stack, dedicated effect sections, and a built-in four band graphic EQ with an amazing tone matching feature. This app definitely isn't about recreating the sound of classic, well-known amplifiers. Instead, it's about creating and playing with your own unique tones. That said, Rhino does cater for preset surfers as well, with over 30 ready-made patches for you to dive into. And dive in you shall. Rhino really has the perfect mix of features, intuitive user interface, and top drawer tones. It is my favourite guitar app on iOS and I would highly recommend you give it a try yourself. You'll find links to every app mentioned in this video down below and make sure to let me know just how much you disagree with my choices in the comments as well. And if you want to know the best way to connect your guitar to your iOS device, then watch this video next.